Hello, and welcome to the second video in this new series on using the new Blender for video editing. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about how to create borders around a, a video, uh, the create a border effect. And let's just get straight to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with a, by just clicking on video editing as our new file. And it gives us our video editing screen layout. So from here, I'm going to add a movie. I will go pick it from here. Okay, and now um, one thing I want to show that's new is just a, a, sh a short some shortcut keys. Before uh, you used to be able to go along along this this timeline and and specify the new start and end range with S and E. That doesn't work anymore. Now it's Control Home. And control end. So for example, if I wanted to go from this point, now I, to, I can go here and I can press control home there. And that, you can see there now like we've adjusted that. And let's bring it, let's bring it over to here, the end point. So control end there. So that's how you do start and end ranges. Okay, so now let's start adding the borders. Okay, so what I'm going to do, oh right. So now, um, over here is the file browser. I'm just going to ignore that. And I will come over to here. I'll expand this out. So here, resolution, these are, this is not the resolution of the video strip, which is, um, how do I do this again? So from here, you can go to strip. And where was it? It's here somewhere. Nope, movie strip, oh, here we go. So if you wanted to, uh, and immediately set the uh, scene resolution to match to your your file, your video file. This is how you get to it. So from strip, now it's movie strip set render size. There you go. So now that is the size for the, of the video input, which I can show by if I expand that out a bit. It's here somewhere, right? Source. There it is, see, source resolution 1920 by 804. There we go. But now we're gonna do the properties. So that means we have to increase the X and the Y resolution. So let's go ahead and do um, 30 on each side. So we can still do this plus 30 plus 30, right? Or we can do over here, we can say plus 30 times two, that works too. Uh, hit the home button, zoom out a bit, okay. All right, so then with the resolution set, we can scroll back up, oh, down to here. So offset, uh, we need to check to enable, but then also click to expand that out and just put 30, tab 30, there we go. So now we have our border, which right now is going to be black because we don't have any color underneath. Let's go ahead and add a color strip. So I will go here and I will add. Now the color strip is just right down here instead of being listed as an effect strip. And effect strips now are these other things like a transform, but color is by itself. So let's stretch that out. Scroll up to here. And then bring that color up and change that to, I don't know, let's go with uh, yellow. Okay, all right. And then now, uh, this needs to be at the bottom. So let's take the video strip yeah, and press G, lock it to the Y axis. Okay, up, okay. And need to change compositing. So blend instead of cross, we'll go with alpha over. There we go, and hit the home button. There it is. Okay, so those are all the steps that you can do to add a border. Um, using this new interface for Blender 2.8 and beyond. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe so you can see more content. Bye now.